Hey, this is Collector Dude. I got I'm back with part two of my haul video. Um, this is uh, I got a really lot of nice books. When I went out to the, some of the stores, I hadn't been to one in a while, and I went there and they had a bunch of stuff that was really nice. I said, you know what? I'm getting stuff, some stuff that I like, some stuff that I want to sell, some stuff I want to use for my giveaways and everything. But um, and I went to my uh, local comic book store and picked up like 200 bags and boards because I need them <laughs> and I've been using them. So let's get on get on with this. Uh, Mark Hazard, um, Mark Hazard, the Merc. I said, you know what? This looks kind of interesting. So I said, it's New Universe, and I remember getting Star Brand, and I didn't pick this up. Uh, so I said, let me try this. This is number one. Here's number two, and you got number twelve. I didn't see any more. Number twelve. I think I paid paid a dollar for all of those. And then this was the anniversary issue, or the annual issue, one anniversary, annual number one. What am my exec cover on there? That's cool. I think that's my exec, yeah. You know, he has a, just a definitive look. Then I found some more copies of this, Ms. Marvel, number two, three, and four. Then find number one. I like to find number one. There's two, there's three, and there's four. Then I found a Moon Knight number one, different one, and a Night Watch number one, the shiny cover. Then I found Obi Wan and Anakin, uh, the three part miniseries. There's one, two, and three. Then I thought this was kind of cool. I said, let me try this and see if I didn't even open them up to look at them. I said, I'll try and see what they look like. Jeff Loeb and Rob Liefeld worked on Onslaught Reborn. I got one, two, and there's three. Different cover. There's four, and there's five. And I saw this, I thought this was cool because I remember a movie. It's supposed to be the worst science fiction movie. Plan 9 from Outer Space. And this is Strikes Again. I don't think it's worth anything, but I thought it was kind of cool, so I grabbed it. And I paid, what, $1.99 for it. Then I got Quasar. It's part of Infinity Gauntlet crossover, so I grabbed it, number 26. Got Thanos in there. I'd like to see him introduced into the uh, continuity. That would be cool, Quasar. Uh, Raven, number one. Got another copy of this. I probably got five copies of this now. Red Sonja, I like... Um, the artwork, um, Jenny Frazon, she's kicking butt. This is, uh, she, she, oh my, just beautiful. This is number 14. Just beautiful art. Love the red hair and everything and the flowers and stuff. Just cool. And here's number 17. Just beautiful. And here's a variant cover, or this is the main cover and that was a variant, or they just made two different copies. This is, um... I'm not sure if this is if this is Jindy Tartakovsky or not. Um, that's number 17 as well. Okay, then I found this Silver Surfer Warlock Resurrection number one, and then a third printing of this third printing, that third printing variant it says uh, of Scarlet Spider with the green cover. Number one. Then I, I've been um, liking this story, Scooby Apocalypse. This is a variant cover of number three. Uh, I think it's a, uh, cover A or cover B, I mean. I think it's cover B. That's cool, number three. I still got to finish the story, though. I've been getting through them all, and I found more of the ones to complete my collection. Here's uh, number 20. Here's 21. And 22. Then I found this. I said it's a number one, so grab it. Sectors. Oh, number one. Then these were cool. I couldn't believe these were in there. Sergeant Rock. Army at War. This is number uh, 200. It's kind of beat up, though. But I saw it. I said, let me grab that. And here's number 201. This one's in better shape. And here's, this one's in really nice shape, 367. 
than the original shield number one and I found some older spider-man number 160 these are beat up too so I just grabbed them but they're, they got ticks on them and everything but just really nice to, just to have it this is the uh, director's uh, cut of brand new day amazing spider-man number one I love the director's cuts. I have to do flip throughs for them. Amazing Spider Man number uh, 622. I just like it because it's an awesome cover. Morbius on the front there with Spider Man. Let me reposition myself. Uh, here's Amazing Spider Man number 630. Here's 685 Ends of the Earth. I like this because I just love the cover with um, the make remake of like Spider-Man versus Superman uh, versus Alpha in this one, 694. Thought that was cool. And this was old Spidey Marvel Comics and Elect the Electric Company, number 57 presents Spidey Super Stories. This is number 57 it says. Get that for a dollar. And this was cool. I'd love to found number three, but I didn't, couldn't find it. Uh, Ultimate Fallout, Spider-Man No More. I got number one, and I paid dollar ninety nine for it. Number one, dollar ninety nine for all these. I think yeah. There's number two. There's number five. And number six. Couldn't find three and four. I'm like ah. Then I got another copy of this, Spider-Man Deadpool number one. And number two. And I got Spider Woman to add to my collection because I like Maleev's artwork and Brian Bendis' writing number number six. That's cool. Then I got Star Trek, Star Cross, Star Trek number 75. That's cool. I got that for $1.99. And this one's this one's got a tear on the back cover, but I just thought it was cool. Classic. Star Wars A New Hope. I didn't know it was torn when I grabbed it, but I said I grabbed it. It was $1.99. A little graphic novel. It was kind of thick. That was cool. Got a little tear, like, um, probably about an inch or so in the cover. And then these, usually they mark these up, and they didn't do that. I got Star Wars 25, 29, 31, 64, and 75. I was like, wow. There's 29. Or 24, was that 24? No, 25. This is 29. Here's 31. I'm going to look at the numbers. There's 64. And they're not in bad condition. One of them, some of them got a little tear on them. One of them's got a little tear on it, but most of them are pretty good. 75. I guess they didn't really, really look, at them, look them up and say, you know what, just put them for a dollar. If they're less than a dollar on the cover, they usually mark them up a dollar. Anything else, they go half off cover, or if they think it's worth a little bit, they'll mark it up a little bit. Then I got another copy of Star Wars number one. And then I got Suicide Squad number four. I thought that was cool because it's got um, Harley on the front. And I got Supergirl. I showed this on the video. This is number five. I just love that cover. It's like, wow. Here's Superman number 416. I thought that was cool. Him with a beard. And I got another copy of this, Superman Back for Good, number 82. I love that shiny cover. And I got two copies of this, um, Annuals, Tales of the Green Lantern Corps, uh, number one. And number three. Then I got The Thing, number 30. Oop. I like that cover. Then I got, I thought this was cool, I, and I, I'm not sure who it is, because I flipped through it real quick. Who is Thor Girl? And this is um, the Mighty Thor number 33. I was thinking it was something, I don't know if it will go up in price or something like that. I only paid a dollar, dollar thirteen for this. Um, they went completely half or something, instead of just making it a dollar. But um, I was wondering whether it would do anything with the new um, Thor, or Mighty Thor, I don't know. But I thought that was cool. And this is Thor, the Mighty Thor number one. This is the different version at the gates of Valhalla. 
Here's the Mighty Thor number 17. And most of these covers are a dollar or half off cover. Uh, Thunderbolts number 19. I thought this was cool. Featuring the winner of the Wizard Creative Villain Contest. The Coming of Charcoal, the Burning Man. I thought that was cool. Mike Mark Bagley artwork. I got that for a dollar. Then I got, uh, let's see. The Ultimates number two, because it's got my, I noticed I was like, hey, Diodato artwork. So I grabbed it. Got Diodato's artwork in there. Mike Diodato. Mike. $1.99 for that one. Then I paid, I got these. Ultimate Power 1, 2, and 3. And I, I think I got, yeah, I got four. He's got some great artwork in it. Greg Land, I like his stuff. Really cool. One. It's two. Three. And four. Then I got Unknown Soldier, number 267. And I got that for a dollar. Then I got US-1. And I think I paid a dollar for this one as well. Number one. And then I got, uh, let's see what else is here. What if... The Fantastic Four battle Doctor Doom before they got their powers. That's number 18. What if number 18? And then I got this what if issue. What if Karen Page had lived? It's like, wow. I love those what if stories. They're really cool. Then I got um, this Wonder Woman 101. I paid a dollar for it. I got to get the sticker off. But it just wasn't in a bag. But John Byrne. And then I got... Uh, another copy of this, but it's got a finger. Somebody put their fingerprint on it. All new one, Wolverine number one. They have the fingerprint on there, and they got the fingerprint on the edge to the back. But still, and I paid uh, two forty nine for it. Still good to have. I got an all new Wolverine number five. I paid a dollar ninety nine for that one. Then I got these I thought were cool: X Men and Alpha Flight number one and number two. And I got these for a dollar each. It's like, wow. And let's see, I'll show you these. Oh, here. Uncanny X-Men number 534. I just love the artwork on it. Terry Dodson. He did the cover. I'm not sure. I forgot who did the artwork on the inside. Maybe it's Terry Dodson. Then I got these in the packs. And I was like, Justice League number one, two, and three. See, they had them in here. They had them for six bucks. These are like uh, second, third printings and stuff like that. But um, one, two, and three, they're all in there. And I'm like, wow, for six bucks, I'll take it. And this is one of the ones I really thought was cool. Deathstroke the Terminator, one through four, for four dollars. I was like, are you serious? They got them taped together. And they got one through four. This one's worth almost 30 bucks. It could be more, maybe 23 I th on mycomicshop.com it has it for that and it varies and you can see it's in nice condition I didn't take it out of the bag and the bag can hide some defects and everything like that but I looked at it and closely when I grabbed it I said wow and I, kept, I just kept my cool I said wow put this aside four bucks look at that I was like, I'll take it, because I've been looking for one of these for a while. I said, I hope I find one, and there it is. But I've seen it on other channels, I'm like, wow. And then I got this, I thought was cool. Um, Ashley, see, I had lost it, I couldn't find it. I think I lived in Michigan for a little bit, and I think I left it there. And then I went to Sweden one year when I had my wife with my family, and I thought I might have left it there, but when I came back, I had it with me. I stayed in Michigan for a little bit, and... I couldn't find it anymore. Astral City. I think I let somebody borrow it, and I never got, never got it back. But I love Astral City. I paid $9.99 for it. As soon as I saw it, I said, grab it. Don't even think. I, was, I said, I'm going to get that. And then, uh, let me, I got two, three more books to show you. These were cool. This this was at Half Price Books. I, I've been looking for these for a while, and I said, you know what? When I saw them, I said, grab these, because these are cool. I, I loved them when they first came out. Barry Windsor Smith's uh, Storytellers. I paid $4.99 for these. These are really cool. You can see next to next to a comic book or trade paperback how big it is. 
the difference. It's like a tabloid book. But and love the stories. He he writes really good. Get great art. There's Barry back there. Loves purple. That was number one. I was hoping they'd had more, but I couldn't find them. They were just with the, I left the comic book section and went to the uh, magazine section and looked and I said, whoa. Here's number six. Really cool artwork in them. And there's the back. But these are cool. These are cool, I guess. Like, see the Barry Winter Smith Dark Horse. But these are really cool. And my last book that I got, I went to my local comic book store. I hadn't been there in a while. He's got a whole bunch of books. I picked this up. Uh, Jim Lee, Wildcats. Uh, and he signed it. Um, number one. Gold version. I thought that was cool. It was so different. I said, you know what, grab it. I paid $60 for this. I just thought it was cool. I don't know if I got ripped off or not, but I checked on it. It's going for about that. Maybe sometimes you can get it for less and everything, but you don't have the signature. And he couldn't he couldn't authenticate the signature, but I've seen his signature many times, and that looks legit. But even if not, it's still cool. And maybe I'll hopefully I'll get to meet him one day, and I'll get him to sign it again, or he'll have him look at it and go, hey, that, that's my signature. We'll see. But I just thought that was cool. The gold version. Everything everything else inside is regular, but it's um, just a regular gold version. And I think that is about it. Let me show you. Um, let me see if it's got the back. Yeah, the back of it. Yeah. See, it's got some marks on it and everything. It's not perfect. But the shiny thing. And the inside is the same. So, but I just think, cool. 60 bucks, I'll take it. He had some other stuff, too. He told me a story that um, some lady found about 50 um, Wolverines in her collection. They were like, what's the one? Oh, what's the one Wolverine with him? Let me let me pause it real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. It was the um, limited series where he's on the cover where he's going like this. Come here. When he's got the claws out. The, mini, the limited series. He, the girl, the lady, she moved into this house and she said, he said he didn't know if he believed it or not, but she had the books. They were taped up or wrapped in string, like 40 or 50 copies of it. And this book is going for hundreds of bucks. And if you get them graded, he said he found some ones that are like in the center of the pack. The ones on the ends were kind of bent because they were taped or string shut. But uh, the ones in the center, he said, well, I'm in nearly perfect condition. He said he's going to get three, four or five of them graded. But he was selling the rest of them for under 50 bucks. Like, I didn't get them then. I bought that uh, Jim Lee book. And I said, you know what? I'm going to wait and see if I'm going to come back and get that. I probably should have <laughs> should have bought the bat, the Jim Lee or not the Wolverine book and everything. Because I said, and it was just like an impulse buy. I said, that is so cool. And usually Jim Lee's um, signature is worth a lot of money. So I said I grabbed that one. I just liked it. But if, I'm going to go back, I think, because he said he's got like, he had like 40 of them. He showed me the, the stack. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Plus, he's got other stuff in there. He's got like a whole set of demon, Jack, Jack Kirby. He's got them. He puts them in packs, puts them all in backing boards and bags, puts them together and puts a big bag over them and takes them. He's got them for 200 bucks. He's got Devil Dinosaur number one and uh, like for 10 or 15 bucks, something like that. It, it was like he, he had, a, I know he had a big sale this past week. It was a free free comic book day or something. I said, I'm not even keeping track. But I was going to go. There was like a Halloween thing. And I'm, he probably had a big sale. But he said he had a bunch of stuff. And he's going to be moving from the area where he's at um, pretty soon. But um, when he told me about those Wolverines, I was like, you got to be kidding me. And I saw some of them. And I said, you know, I'm going to have to get some of these. I'll buy one at least. And he plus he had a whole ton of other books that were so cool on his back wall. Everything, like I said, half price books have some stuff. And, but when you go to your local comic book store, they usually have more and everything like that. Half price books gets different things that sometimes you can get for really cheap and you'd be amazed at it. But the comic book stores have, has different stuff that's, oh, will have you going, oh my goodness. So, but I'm going to go back and get one of those and everything. So if anybody tells me, Hey, why didn't you get the, why did you get that Jim Lee book? Why didn't you get the Wolverine? I'm going to go back and get one because he's got a ton of them. Hopefully nobody went and bought them all. We'll see. But uh, thank you very much for watching, you guys. You had a great, I had a great time doing this and everything. And oh, one more thing I'm going to show. 
if I can get these off of. Here, let me pause this real quick. Okay, I'm back. Um, I bought these. I got like ten dollars off of these. I got eight, it was a sell on so uh, the, the tricorder. I thought it was cool. I think the battery. He said the batteries are worn down, but I'm gonna get some batteries for. It, but I love this stuff. Everything. So I see it on uh, uh, Amazon where people complain about them and everything like that. So I said. Hopefully they'll work and be okay, but I thought it was cool. That's that one. Then I got the uh, the phaser and everything. And I think this one might have the sound. You can hear it. But I'll probably be opening these up and do a video of them sometime. But I just love those stuff like this. This is so cool. I don't do cosplay or anything like that. But just to have them, get a rack, put them on a shelf or something like that, along with the rest of my statues and stuff like that. But cool. All right. But thank you very much, much for watching. And everybody that did that contest, um, I've been having trouble with some stuff and everything like that. But I'm getting it fixed. And I'm going to get some stuff ordered. I got some things that ordered so I can do mailers and everything. And I'm going to get you your prizes sent to you hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Because um, I ordered the stuff this weekend or a Friday. And uh, hopefully it will come this week. And I'll get the stuff mailed to you. And make sure you send me your... Um, your addresses and everything to my Gmail. You'll get your stuff, everything like that. I'm good at it. But once um, I get those done, I'm gonna have another contest after that, and and I'll speed them up a little bit, everything like that, because I have a bunch of stuff that I'm, I'm gonna be using to give away. Because uh, it's just fun for me for some reason. Don't ask me why. I've always been like that. But thank you very much for watching, you guys. You have a great day, and collect to do this out.